the good times just keep on rolling and it's awesome. Lethal Weapon 3. You know, three movies in, you will get the feeling that the movies will get better and better, or they would go downhill a little bit. Lethal Weapon 3 keeps going up that hill, and it's awesome, okay? Lethal Weapon 3, in my mind, never disappoints. It is awesome, it's funny, and the chemistry is just everything flat out awesome. And in this movie, Riggs and Murtaugh pursue Jack Travis, okay, a former LAPD lieutenant, now an arms dealer, okay, and he sells guns to people on the streets, of course, case in point, a uh, young gang banging group, okay, and one of the group, um, the one of the members in that gang is uh, Murtaugh's son's friend. That makes sense. <laughs> that does make sense, but the way I said it is weird, okay. Not to mention, comes that best line in every fucking buddy cop movie. I got eight days to a fucking retirement. I cannot get killed right now because my wife will resuscitate me and then kill my ass. <laughs> well, he didn't say that part. I just added that shit on. But it's awesome to even say that anyways. <laughs> yep, the old eight days to retirement gig. Something that will be used in later movies. But here is awesome. Okay, they don't overuse it. It's just awesome in this movie because that's all he complains about. And that's the one thing, besides getting shot, that really depresses the hell out of Murtaugh. And that's funny. <laughs> and Riggs is like, well, you, don't gotta, you don't gotta retire, Raj. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just me and you forever. Like, we can keep on going. But I'm old, man. Okay? I can't just keep on going. Again, they don't say all that shit, but... <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. This movie is downright hilarious, okay? I think this is probably the funniest one out of the entire movies. And then, of course, you got Leo Getz. Oh, he's trying to assert himself in, in the business here. Now he's trying to sell houses for real estate. And he's trying to auction off their house. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> you also got a very gorgeous Renee Russo in this motherfucker. She's downright sexy. Even the Thor of the Dark World, I wanted to lick her ass up. Yes, yes, baby. And those fucking lips. You see her lips in this movie? Fuck me. Oh, it's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> the chemistry between Riggs and Murtaugh is always awesome. Always awesome. The entire cast is good. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Surprisingly, I think this is the only Lethal Weapon film that nothing happens to Murtaugh's house. <laughs> I don't think it is, because in the other three movies, shit always happened to his fucking house. It's hilarious. And of course, uh, Rick's, Rick's got a new trailer. As If you've seen the last one, do you know why he has a new trailer? And he got some new dog, which is awesome, okay? So, yeah. Again, more good times. Just keep on rolling. The action is always good in this movie. Every um, Lead the Weapon film has something huge. Where they have huge, they have two huge scenes. The very beginning, they blow up a fucking building. <laughs> At the end, they set a construction site on fire. It's awesome, okay? It's, they always up the ante, but always have such a small budget. It's hilarious how they did that shit. I think the most expensive one, I believe, is the fourth one. I'll have that in conf confirmation for you in a little bit. But other than that, Lethal Weapon 3 is going to get an A-. minus. Still a great movie. Had tons of fun with it. Just can't go wrong with this movie franchise. I'm serious. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Lethal Weapon 3. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? And, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. But it'll be a few hours for me. So, see ya.